and welcome back to abduction and yes let's activate this teleport i wonder where it will take us because i'm fairly sure it won't take us back to hundra or maybe no i don't think so Ugh. I shouldn't be looking around while doing so. And, and this is... Give me a second, I need to look for my notes. I wrote it here somewhere. Um, oh, here it is. This is... Uh, it would be one, it would be two, it's three. Mm hmm learned it so why would you need three do you want more okay thank you but why would you need me to input four specifically i don't i don't want to know Let's leave it as a lucky guess, because that's what it all was. Like, I knew what I wanted to input, I just didn't know if it, will, if it will work. Those really are scales. It's pretty. Okay, so there's that. Um, were we going up or... Oh. Or down. <laughs> Nothing? Okay. Oh, here's another one. And that's new one. Okay, don't don't move around. Let it just happen. And I think we are going into new location, because this is taking some time to load. <gasps> this is it! This is behind the house! Yes, this is behind the house! You were here? The villain. They... I can't find the words. It's such a foreign life cycle. Or perhaps not. They launched themselves across the expanses of space, preserved for eons, until at last the technological arcs can hone in and carry them to a new home. They have no connection with their predecessors, but in spite of this, perhaps because of it, they have amazing recollections of their history. Their stories are epic, reaching back through the eons. Unlike many of us who were abducted, they were abducted as a whole. Their scoop moved an entire facility that was about to be annihilated. I have come to believe that they, perhaps more than any of us, have a deeper understanding of whatever this strange system is that we have find ourselves in. I need to write this down. We buried Ji Yun today. This place never really agreed with her. Kept to herself mostly, depressed and downcast. Anyway, I digress. I stayed after the brief words were spoken. I was the one who... The, I was the last to leave. I wandered to the dome, as I often do, and looked out at the undulating Saurian weirdness beyond the saw wall. Movement caught my eye. 
Now, on very rare occasions, we've been more f we've seen mofangs scrambling about in the distance. But there have been fewer and fewer sightings over the years. But before me was a tall, haggard mofang running desperately, almost direct almost directly toward me from one of the distant structures. It, I still can tell the gender, got closer and closer. I thought it would see me and stop, or turn around, or be curious about the strange dome and our world inside it, but it continued running quickly, almost directly to my position. I was frozen in place with curiosity, until my reflexes took over at the last moment, and I leapt out of the way. But rather than hit the dome and fall backwards, or come through into Hunrath, the dome flashed its familiar tone and the mofang vanished. I was stunned for a bit, but I retrieved my wits and stepped into the dome, myself to, myself to quickly get to the other side. After getting through, I immediately turned around and saw the mofang outside, on the other side of the dome still running away from whatever it feared, but as if it had no sense of passing around the dome. As surprising as the event was, I did, it did serve to settle a few things in my mind. I always wondered how no one on earth noticed what had replaced this chunk of Arizona we have here. I've got to land. Again, there are those who argue with me. Over and over I demonstrate that in almost every case, Whatever the process was that brought us uh, here, it occurred at a pivotal moment. They tell their stories and they still can admit that the abduction actually saved each of us. All of us. What is, uh, what is it in human nature that grasps so strongly to the past that we blame our saviors for stealing it from us? Okay, just one more vent before bed. If each of us was individually saved from something, then maybe all of us were corp corporately saved from something larger. Can we really be sure what's left? And this, the arrivers come from various places and times. Sarah got here almost 15 years ago from the year 2055. And Uziel got here two and a half years ago from 1942. What does that mean? Time here is shuffled and chaotic compared to Earth. What state is Earth in right now? When is Earth right now? It's 3.15 a.m. and I feel compelled to journal this craziness. After spending most of yesterday meditating with the Arai, and then most of this evening discussing the nature of these worlds with uh, CW, I had just a sip of infamous Hunraf Hooch and collapsed in my chair. Well, I just awoke from a dream. I'm not one who puts a lot of credibility in dreams, but maybe the Arai were able to move something in me to understand. Or possibly because of the intense discussion, my subconscious, some, my subconscious mind was triggered to be able to sort out some logical connections. Or maybe it was the hood, the dream. I was standing a garden, an immense garden, and it wasn't for fruit or flowers. It was just about the health of the garden. I kept working and working to control it and contain it and make it healthier. But the garden seemed to fight me at every turn. And after what seemed like days of work, I finally gave up in frustration. And as I stood there, doing nothing, the garden flourished before my eyes, growing and spreading in every direction. Because I realized the system that the plants were based on was not about me shaping and controlling. The natural system of plants is healthier when they are out of control, when they are free to spread and intermingle and cross-pollinate and mutate. Now, from a human point of view, that may not provide what I want. I get smaller fruit and smaller flowers and untidiness, but from the point of view of the plants, they grow stronger and much more resilient and resistant. The more they are scattered, the higher their odds of surviving. And now that I contemplate, I realize that even the individual plants or seeds may not appreciate the benefit of what's happening. They are torn far from their origins, forced into situations that seem extreme. 
possibly even destroyed by this new environment. But for the seeds that survive... Ah, the seeds that survive. Now that's where real growth, strength and abundance comes from. It's so beautiful and terrifying. Beyond the beauty of it all is a system and structure that defies understanding. Okay, what if this is all a natural process? There are signs or something behind it all, but well hidden signs. So, well, if I look at all of this, the cell, the tree, the water, the seeds, the heart, the health, even the abductions, well, there seems to be a grand system or plan. The plan doesn't take me into account. It is unemotionally intent on the health of something much bigger. That may hurt my feelings, but, well, what am I in the entire scheme of the universe? I have no idea what, if anything, might have put this process into motion, but that is irrelevant. Tomorrow I will talk with CW. He could be swayed from his battery plan. I really don't draw no much. I come to write this down because I am distraught. As I contemplate the plan that I have set in motion, I realize that I have become the destroyer of worlds. I sat down to write, to seek some cathartic tranquilization, and I realized the last thing I journaled was some esoterically beautiful philosophy about letting this garden grow. Not so reaffirming or calming. But, nevertheless, here is my reasoning because I must write this down. Simply, it's us or them. Complexly, if this is some kind of garden and we are the plants or seeds or whatever, well, some of, us, some of us have gotten together and decided that we're better choice to survive if the others have un unilaterally decided that we all won't survive. I am more fit, damn it. This is not me. I want to be calm and garden, or ungarden, or grow, or... What gives one species the right to destroy other species? Who gets to choose? Do I just lay down and die because the more aggressive species thinks they're better, more powerful? What brutal scale do I use to measure the good of some against the fit of the others? Does love ever destroy in order to help more survive? to help love itself to survive. Does that even make sense? Can I kill because I think it will bring about more love? What if I'm not even capable of understanding the situation of hate versus love? Maybe I am the hater. Do I generate this love delusion to help me maintain my sanity in light of the choice I have made? My god. It's too much. If these are just my walls of delusion, then I choose to live within them. I am a seed, scattered by the wind. But I will not simply be trampled. I will kick and stream and survive. May God have mercy on my soul. Scissors? Okay. Oh. That's beautiful. We need to shut down this battery. We cannot let Cecil go on with his plan. Arrive Larval Notes by CF Takes about 3 to 5 days from a single array larvae change colors after being moved to a new surface. Pulsing stops immediately upon removal from captar, induced by polyarchs. Cloning has been extremely easy. Like Potatoes, easy. Organics, plant fiber, yellow. Bone, light yellow. Array encrustment, green. Metals, gold, pink. Copper, is red or orange. 
titanium orange, silver, red, aluminium, red or orange, tech, mofang tech, magenta, villain extrusions, near white, stone, granite, captar, teal blue, sandstone, hunraf, light blue, sore stone, mofang, deep purple, shale, marai, very light blue, polyarchs, pots, always purple. To do, I am curious about the effect of combining various base surface. Still a bit old experimenting with the life forms. The light they emit is handy, given our limited supply of diesel fuel. Mm. Adventures in the ages of mist and beyond. From caverns miles beneath the New Mexico desert, the Dini ruled the e an empire that lasted ten millennia. They wrote thinking books that allowed them to span universes, ignoring the primitive humans that invested the surface. But the glory of the Dini was brought low mere centuries ago, and their ages were left empty and abandoned. Until now. Called to the desert, we have found our way down to the Dini. Its secrets are in ha our hands and its future is ours to determine. The next chapter of the knee is unwritten. <laughs> in 1993, Cyan Incorporated introduced us to the surreal worlds of mist and the knee. Now you can make your own journeys of exploration and adventure through the ages. Discovery focus mechanics, play in modern or historical the knee, unlimited possible environments. Oh. Mist. I would love to see the mist in format of a book. Okay. Uh, okay. F f most important thing to do: switch off the battery. And do not turn it on at all. I don't trust him. That's it, I just don't trust Cecil enough to leave it on. If he wants to destroy this world, then he better find another way to do so. Hopefully after I am dead. Because I swear, if I get my hands on any weaponry... Okay, it's disconnected now. And now... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now we can go to the tree world. We have an open doors. So we should be able to explore. Just thinking if there is anything else. I don't think so. We still haven't connected the uh, tree in Qatar. It was Qatar. Kotar? This place. <laughs> um, so there's that. But we have time for this. This way. Um, mm -hmm. But that's where if I am supposed to input more numbers in VLAN language, I'll have to use guide. Because as far as I know, I know how to create those numbers. But the execution lacks a little bit.
Hmm. Is everything okay? Did you froze? In, I must admit, a very spectacular way. You or your This is the best way to keep everyone safe. Just stay on this path and cross the first bridge. Then keep going until you get to that sign-in area. You'll get more information after you sign in. Okay. Don't panic. This is the best way to keep everyone safe. Just stay I on just this wanted to take a photo. Your bridge isn't working. I'm sorry to tell you that. Forgetting that I cannot crouch. I've been playing some layers of fear too lately, and I must admit that it got me a little bit used to crouching and running. Clean up jumping. Why would I want to put it here? Oh, 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 oh. I think I know why. We need to go back to the house. thinking it didn't do what I thought it would do Oh, god damn it. <laughs> yes, I misunderstood what it did. Yeah, we need to use the auto teleporter again. But luckily in a second we'll be on the in the right 